I was hit by a drunk driver last month. His insurance is offering to pay for my medical bills and car repair, but what about missed work? Uh, drunk driver last month, that's pretty recent. I have a few more questions. What do you say, Matt? Don't do it. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's the, this is the real clear answer. I mean, look, what the law says you're entitled to in Alabama is you're entitled to compensation, which includes a lot of categories, reimbursement for medical bills, mm -hmm. reimbursement for lost wages, payment for future lost wages, reasonable compensation for any permanent injury you have, or an impairment, or disfigurement, or scarring, or pain and suffering, or mental anguish. It, it's very broad. And so if an insurance company, Mike, is just saying, hey, look, we'll pay for your property damage, which we'll probably never agree to, and then your medical bills, you say, okay, you think, well, that's fair, but now what about the rest? Oh, we settled. And their medical bills are offerings probably up to today or maybe yeah, what happens, this much. What happens if you need to have a surgery and your insurance company says, now wait, wasn't this involved in an accident? Well, then you need to have a different insurance company. This is a pre-existing condemn. I mean, don't come up with anything. And you signed this agreement here, so we're basically done. Good luck to you. And Mike, so. here's where we've had some success, and we've actually had some success down in Greene County on this very issue is, mm -hmm. look, if, if, if a drunk driver hits you, where did that person get drunk at? And did you know, those people know he was yeah, drunk when I mean, he left? And, and, and almost all restaurants, bars have to carry insurance, and it's called the Dram Shop Law. Yep. Most yep. of them carry at least $100,000 in liability insurance. And look, if you are 0 0.15, 0 0.2, I can tell if you're intoxicated. Yep. Well, how about that person who's serving you?